I guess give us the feel right now, right? I mean, a big moment in your career, uh, you know, USC main event here, I guess give us the, the, the emotions for you right now. Oh, yeah, I'm super pumped to be the main event. Um, you know, I first got the fight against Talia. Uh, I wanted five rounds because I, I knew what fighting her meant, so, like, I wanted that experience. Uh, so when they called me back a couple weeks later and asked me to be fight five rounds, I was super down. I love it. Yeah. Uh, then, of course, you, you get that, but then you get the change of opponent, right? Everything all mixes up, I guess. What were your thoughts when that was presented? Was that a challenge for you? I mean, how did you react? Oh, no, my manager called me, told me Talia was out, but Andraj was willing to take the fight, um, and I was definitely down right away. I already put in all the work, and I really wanted to fight. Uh, you know, Talia's a tough opponent, Andraj's a tough opponent, but everybody's tough, so I didn't really care, and um, I was just happy to get a fight. To me, from the outside looking in, like you said, Talia, a very, very tough fight, right? I mean, she had a great fight last time out, but mm -hmm. maybe not the name recognition, I guess. I mean, does this feel almost like a, like a bigger opportunity somehow? I know a lot of people have been saying that. I guess it's because Andraj has a lot of experience in the UFC. She has a, a lot more fights than like me or Talia. Um, but I think that's the only reason why. I mean, obviously, she's super tough. She's uh, different than Talia, but um, but I don't think it's necessarily like a bigger fight, um, like skill-wise. Um, I think it's maybe bigger for people that know Andraj. Right. Does it uh, present any different challenges? As you said, I mean, both of them are really, really tough opponents, right? But does this yeah. present any more like specific challenges for you? I mean, I think it's just they're they're different, like body types, a uh, little bit of different styles. So it's just kind of adjusting to that. But um, Andraj has adjusted to me too. You know, she just fought and she didn't know she was fighting me until like a week ago. Uh, so we both have to make a little bit of adjustments. So I think we're on an even playing field with that. Given the short notice, like, do you uh, change game plan, change approach? I mean, you, I, we, we, I think we kind of know what you like to do. I mean, do you just stick with what you do? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, even in my camps, I mean, obviously you look up your opponents and you're like strategizing for them, but you have to really focus more on what you want to do and what you want to implement in the fight. So I think keeping that mindset uh, doesn't make the opponent change like less scary in that sense, I guess. You know, you, you know, you can always do what you can do against anybody. Uh, so just little different strategies, um, but nothing huge and I'm ready to go. You seem like I have like a very business-like approach to this, right? But is there any part of you that's just sitting back and kind of enjoying a little bit? I mean, you're so young in your career, and to be in this spot facing a former champion, a main event, I mean, is any part of you like just like trying to soak it in and enjoy it at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. But, um, but I know I want to stay super focused uh, to win this fight Saturday because I know winning is going to make it that much better, and I can always look back and soak it in. Um, but yeah, winning is in staying focused and most important. Nice. Last thing for me, you know, you mentioned winning, all right? I mean, you're top 10 already. Mm -hmm. You beat number three, a former champ. I mean, title shots and things like that are in the discussion. Are you thinking that way already? Like, I win here, this, this is potentially a number one contender fight for me? I know it's definitely possible, um, but I'm just really trying to keep Jessica, like, on my mind first, because I know if I don't win that, then none of everything else won't come. Uh, so keeping that first and... Yeah, I mean, having the five rounds is definitely beneficial if that does happen next. Um, but, yeah, this fight Saturday first. Hey, Aaron. Um, did you watch Jessica Andrade's last fight against Lauren Murphy? Uh, yes, I did. What did you think of um, the referee not stopping that fight? Did you, like, as a fighter, did you, like, appreciate Lauren Murphy keep, like, keep going? Or did, or did you think it was a little bit, like, too much damage? Um, you know, I know no, seeing Lauren fight for a couple of years, I know she's super tough um, and she can take a lot. She never really, like, dropped much from any of those shots. I mean, she was definitely eating a lot. I think she made some uh, strategic mistakes. She was kind of getting clipped every time she would pull out. Um, I mean, I don't know if there was any, like, if she really, really needed to be stopped. She never really fell. I mean, she definitely ate more damage than maybe you'd want to. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't something where I was like, oh, it should have been stopped. Um, and like I know you just said that you know you're not looking past Jessica, but like, you know, if you beat her, are you looking at fighting for the title next, or do you want another like contender like Manon Faro and get another five round fight, or, or is it like because you know you're so young, or is it like you want you want to get rushed to that title? Uh, you know, I don't really care either way. Um, I know what winning this fight means, so if that's what. If fighting for a title is next, then I'll do that. If they want me to fight someone else next, then I'll do that too. Um, I'm just focusing on winning this fight Saturday, and I know whatever comes next will be good. <laughs> Where did cold-blooded come from? Uh, my dad made that nickname up actually a long time ago when I was a kid competing. Um, I guess when I when I competed, I was a pretty like stone cold face whether I won or lost. Um, so he always thought like, oh, it's cold blooded. And then when I actually started fighting, he's like, oh, you should use that as your nickname. And it did kind of flow well with my name, and everybody liked it, so I went with it. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Oh, over here, real quick. Yeah. Um, that that went over Molly McCann. Like she came in with a whole lot of fanfare. People were talking about their bets on her, all that kind of stuff. To be able to not only beat her on that kind of stage, 
but the way you did it, finishing her and kind of taking her shine, what did that feel like for you? Oh, I mean, that felt amazing. I mean, I kind of went in there expecting that out of myself. Um, so I think that's kind of why I had that, the reaction afterwards that I did. Um, but beating someone like her that had a big name in front of uh, like my hometown, basically, um, was yeah priceless. Now you have the, you know some of the bigger names out there, but I saw the uh, the Rogan episode where he called you an effing assassin. Yeah. And what was that like? You're watching it. You can see it. You know, it's all over the internet. Yeah. You yeah. see the clip. What would that feel like? Someone like that is calling you an assassin, which is honestly a dope thing just to hear it myself. <laughs> yeah, it's super awesome. I've always been a big Joe Rogan fan, um, so it's really cool to see him say that. All right, thank you. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Aaron, over here. Yeah. Yeah, over here. Um, Quick question, with Jens Pulver getting announced into the Hall of Fame this past weekend, and you being kind of this next generation of fighter, I just wanted to know, do you have any of like the OGs of the game that influenced you coming up in your MMA career? Uh, yeah, no, someone I've always watched a lot was uh, George St. Pierre. I always liked his style. Um, I felt like his, his game just flowed really well. He was super well-rounded, um, and he was champ for a while for a reason, so I always loved watching his fights. Awesome. And then another question with you, again, with you being, you know, this next generation of fighter, how big of a factor do you think social media plays? Like, do you think just winning is enough to blow you up in the sport now? Or do you need to have a big social media game as well? Uh, I mean, social media nowadays is definitely super important. Um, I think winning is the most important, uh, despite social media, because if you're not winning, then how can you really blow yourself up? I think, uh, Keeping the real world stuff first is always important. Um, social media is important too, but uh, keeping that first is more important. And uh, last question for me. This has been a hot topic over this past weekend. Who did you have winning, Volkanovski or Islam? I actually haven't gotten to watch that whole fight, so I'll have to watch it back and let you know. 